should be stopping number seven is, is there a need to focus on the future African generation to make the changes needed since the West has lost and mostly unappreciative in real life tangible goal? That's a long uh, prompt. You guys try to shorten those prompts a little bit for me. Uh, but that came with a link. And the link is to a YouTube video. Let's check it out. That's where I started. This grounds know me very well. I came to this campus 1983, 1983, and I left 1991, starting right here. We used to have beautiful gardens here. We used to have cattle. We used to have orchards. And during the times of recession and the times of drought and COVID came and finished everything else. We're happy for this afternoon to be announcing one of the local businessmen in the country who has come back to the campus to give the campus what I might call a booster, a booster. We've got four of these uh, sectors with all their implements from planters. We have, uh, you know, the ridge reapers and uh, the, the trucks themselves. They're right here. We also have uh, cars, two, four, six, eight. I don't know how many cars are right here for all the staff members that has all been submitted. And over and above that, we are also happy to announce the supply of the of the transport uh, for the students that are going to be studying here. I hear there's good news also. Students used to pay, they used to pay about $2.50 a meal, a special canteen. An eating canteen has been designed right here on the campus where the businessman is now going to settle much of the debts of the students. But over and above that, three meals a day for all the students, instead of paying $2.50, they're not going to be paying only 50 cents per meal yeah. right here in Solusi. It's important for you to think and think very carefully that business people are important because business runs politics. And until you understand the power of money, you won't understand what I'm talking about. Poor people work for nothing. Even God does not use poor people in the entire Bible, except for illustrations. Except for illustrations. But when God wants to change the environment, he looks for those that have means. Look at the Abrahams. Look at the, at the Josephs. Look at the Davids. Look at the Solomons. People who have means and access to means. They must stop wasting time with too much religion of going to heaven. We don't want to go to heaven yet. We want to work on earth first. And these are the implements which will make us work. We do not wish for a house of gold in heaven when you have never touched gold right here on earth. We want to encourage other businessmen out there, male and female, in diaspora, wide and far. Remember where you come from and make some investments back home. Let us rebuild our schools and build our communities, especially if we have an education that is relevant to the issues that are at hand. The planting season is here. The planting and implement are right here. Within the next few months, we're going to be seeing Solusi University receiving more than eight million US dollars worth of investment and injection into this project. That's going to turn the entire push of Solusi University into a prime industry. The education that is integrated to skills development. I wish I could come back here and study a little bit more. Zazo Shubala, Zazo Mnandi Ndao, right here in Solusi University. Yours truly, Maponga J. Keep your money where your mouth is and invest in that which you believe in. We appreciate it. A big thank you to my brother, one and only Kudakwashe Chabirei, Sekunda Holdings. I thank you. True. All right. Uh... Is there a need to focus on the future African generation to make the changes needed since the West is lost and mostly unappreciative in real life tangible goal? And there's a question mark. I uh, I, I I gotta ask Marcus Gavi is way. Can you can you straighten out this prompt for me, please? Like like what is it that you want to say here? <laughs> um, no, I was asking if there's a, a better if it's better to focus on um, helping the future African generations um, you know investing in them specifically more so especially for those of us in the diaspora um, rather than you know trying to invest in the people or the kids here in the west who you know when you got to fight with them playing video games and um, distracted by the culture and all this stuff if it's better to just invest in the people who probably will do more with that, with what they're given, who who are looking more to the future with long-term goals, 
rather than, you know, spoil rich um, Western kids. All right. With that explanation, Erzuli, uh, looking at that video, do you think, like, what are your thoughts after what you saw? I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't paying that much attention, but is he talking about like what Booker T. Washington was talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're up on the panel and you just ain't gonna pay attention to what's going on? (laughs) No, I just, I, the gist I got was he speaking at Booker T. Washington, like, uh, doing, um, what's, what's educating the kids and, um, what's the, what's the type of, Hand hand mechanic mechanics carpentry no. is that what he's talking about? No, no, no. There was a guy that um, <clears throat> a philanthropist who um, donated what was it eighty million dollars worth of stuff to help improve the university over there. Uh, okay, I mean, I mean, I guess that's great. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my God! Uh, I, I'm gonna have to stand down. I'm gonna stand down on this one. Haiti weeps. Haiti weeps, man. Um, let me go to Tanzania. Tanzania, let me see if I can get a good answer, a good response out of you. <laughs> Sorry. Can you get back to me? <laughs> All right. Can you get back to me? Uh, yes. Yeah. Save us, gas. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if I can save anybody, but I, I think um, to the question, um, I do think that the it's an interesting question. I think the short answer is perhaps yes, we should still um, you know focus on the future African generations, but I, I think um, also it needs to be a dialogue and, and a direction as to where people want to go, right and, and what they want to do. But, but more importantly, um, like with the Leo Cohen video of uh, past. Um, on, 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 on my show yesterday, I said that one of the things us Westerners, us you know, being in the West, we don't let those back home know the true inner workings of what makes the West magical, right? So the, the, the Black Nigerians should be made aware what their African-American brothers went through dealing with people like Leo Cohen, right? right? But a lot of times, um, you know, the people back home are ignorant of, of these things. And so I, I was hearing him, he said, you know, um, I, I like the fact he said, forget about heaven on, um, you know, going to Dottie, get heaven. We need to in, engage on things now. So he, I think it, it was a good video. He's saying that, you know, um, but, but the only part I was like, you know, it, it turns into this, uh, those with money are seen as good. Those without money are seen as useless. Um, you know, I, I didn't understand why he would say that. But, you know, I think overall, um, yeah, that's what we should be doing. I think um, all of us who have means should be, um, not only not only should we be donating things like that, but we should be letting you know, people know the truth as to what's um, going on um, within with the West. So I, I said on the show yesterday, I said that, um, you know, I gave the example of the, what, what's that, Buana, what's that Michael Jackson song um, where he was leaning on the stage? Um, dang, I can't remember the song. Yes, is this Smooth Criminal? Yeah, he, and, he, and he leaned, he did that Michael Jackson lean that he was famous for. Now, you know, I remember as a kid in Africa, when he said, oh, my God, look at Michael Jackson. Oh, God, that guy can't dance. And I know there are a lot of Africans who probably, you know, bust their eye and lost some teeth trying to do that goddamn lean, not realizing that, you know, Michael Jackson had a nail, one of those strong, thick construction nails drilled into the floor, and he had um, a slit put in his shoes. So when he was dancing, he, he, he slid his feet inside. I was able to lean and not fall, and then he s- took his feet out, and he, he practiced that so smooth, so we didn't see that he took his feet it over. So that's the magic of modernity, but, but when you're an African, you're like, oh, my God, look at what he just did. Wow. 
you know, but we in the West need to say, oh, hold on, you know, uh, uh, you know, whatever the African person's name is, slow down. Don't just, you know, say, hey, the white man, don't, don't, don't go crazy. This is what he was really doing. And, and let them decide, hey, oh, okay, so I, I think um, I, I'll stop talking there, but yes, we should be doing that, and not only doing that, we should be having discussions with them to let them know what's really going on in the West and things of that nature. Yeah, I agree. I remember when um, when I had the book club and we did the book um, King Leopold's Ghost, one, one of the things that just kind of hurt me is, and you know, there, there was no real way for them to kind of know, I guess, at the time. Um, but the, 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 the pale face would come in there and perform magic tricks and stuff. You know, little little bullshit, pull a coin from behind someone's ear and all that type of stuff. And like, you know, they, they described how flawed the African was at seeing this, this, this white man's magic, you know? Uh, little, little basic, little street, street magic uh, tricks and stuff like that. I'll do you and, one better, Koku, if I may. Well, let me just finish what I was saying real quick. And w one of the issues was that bothered me about it was I remember a writer, I can't remember if it's in that book or a different book, that said they couldn't fool the Indians like that. They couldn't go to the Indian, the East Indian, and 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 do that kind of stuff and 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 like wow anyone I, I found that very interesting turns out I'm sorry go ahead yes um yes, I can't you know this was from Bijou Noir she had a she had a show when she talked about the initial um encounter with the Haitians and the white man I can't remember who it was but um the story was that he he had a gun and then he popped it and then um, they they were very you know um, impressed and then he took out the bullets and then they shot him and then they couldn't kill him so they almost felt like he was you know um um and unkillable I can't remember the word but you know that's that's what they do I think with the Indians they already had a predisposition towards you know um, welcoming the the white people so for them it was a different thing because in their some of their stories they say that you know they had a premonition that white men were going to come it, it was their god or something and even the story of thanksgiving it was not the conquest but the welcoming of the indians to to the white people so we had an awe about the white people with their tricks but they had a more you know open um you know open um approach towards them and that also led to their downfall as well because they realized too late that these people were not there for their friendship but for their for their land so you know we react in different ways but i don't think that the indian you know reaction was necessarily better than ours we might we were just more spiritual and so we're more impressed by these you know magic tricks than uh, maybe the indians were to that extent so yeah yeah that, that still hurts me though um me too uh uh, who 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 am I missing now? Did I? No, Bwana, Bwana, uh What say you? Yeah, um, something that Gas was speaking on yesterday, in terms of of um, where the West is actually going, and the 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 fact that their society at large has cracks in the society that 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 um that the rest of the world ignores. And if we take the same path of, of so-called development, we'll end up on, in the same cul-de-sac the where they ended up. And yes, Africa can use modern instruments, I believe, maybe not everyone. I believe that we could use forms of modernization to, to, to make changes in Africa. But ultimately, we need to have a plan and a direction of the course we would like to take because I don't want to reproduce Switzerland and Africa. I don't want to reproduce Westminster in Africa or, or, right. or in Africa. So I think that yes, we could use, we could use forms of modernization uh, uh, to affect future nations, but in terms of what we will do with it, that we will go with it. In terms of development, we need, we need to determine 
determine that first and foremost before this round to decide what we want to actually produce and what we want to use these to do. And I think that the gas made a, a good point with that to last night. So I just really wanted to to re um, to restate that. But I'll, I'll stop there. All right, observing immigrants, you get the last word. Um, I have nothing to say. Um, for the sake of time, I'll go. Uh, I'm supposed to go back to Tan. Tan, are you ready to to speak to? No, it? no. I think I I said my all. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, he he he. Yeah, he's saying some good things. I like that he's wearing the traditional um leopard skin. Well, not here, but he does from time to time. And um, yeah, I, I agree with everything he says. All right. Most of without, it, yes. Without further ado, let's go to shoot the breeze topic number eight. Hey, if you guys are still in the chat, you gotta give us some energy now. We 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 we're still out here uh you know having these discussions, you know, give us some energy, post some comments, etc. Uh if you want, I could drop the link for anyone who wants to join the panel. As we finish up, we're gonna finish up at 2 a.m. So it's up to y'all. And this one looks like it's taking me to a Twitter tweet. Uh hopefully it's not a whole long thread or something like that. Okay. 